With the weather set fair and a breeze in the air, what finer outing than a boat to go out in? Every year, more and more thousands are getting away from it all in a boat. It doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, you can be king of the sea in a craft to suit your pocket. And where better than Earl's Court to make your choice? With the 13th boat show underway, you can't go wrong. You don't have to be a millionaire to own this little beauty. Which is a 16-footer, costing just over 300 pounds complete or 220 in kit form. Even more modest, but just as waterworthy, at 60 pounds, the little Romany sailing boat. Yes, it's a show for anyone with a sea in their blood. And even more proof that size isn't everything, take another look at English Rose the Third, the rowboat that conquered the Atlantic last year. She is hardly in the luxury class. Mark you, if you've a taste for a new thrill, there's a do-it-yourself hovercraft on view. It's a single-seat machine costing about the same as a minicar. The Daily Express are sponsoring this novel craft that in the near future could be a common sight skimming around the beach. Vastly more opulent is the Aquarama speedboat bought for £9,400 by Cyril Lord. As for Yolande, the biggest and most expensive craft on show, her owners-to-be won't have to worry about fitted carpets. She's £30,000 worth of sheer luxury. But it's sail power that stirs the imagination. Sir Max Aitken's roundabout, a magnificent example of ocean-going sleekness, fast, strong, built for racing. But it's out on the open sea where a boat comes alive. The crew straining to tame the canvas and capture the wind. But it's not all go. This is the other side of sailing. For some, a more attractive side. And not everyone has quite the same taste for the sea. Some reckon it's the air that does you good. Equally, others find their pleasure in a quiet afternoon fishing. Just man and his boat in a gentle tussle with nature. Nature won. For those that yearn for the pull of a sail and the swell of the sea, a friendly word of advice. Learn to navigate first. They didn't. 